a binge pipe main menu screen. Binge Pipe is a streaming service that saves a fortune on overhead by not actually existing. With these savings, we can bring back classic online game shows and buy at least two honey baked hams. Enjoy, you don't know Jack. The hams are ours. Ugh. What's the matter, Mark? I'm trying to find my blood type, but these medical forms are just so complicated. Oh, Mark, you silly idiot. You don't have to understand forms anymore. I don't? No! Just send all your information to BingePipe and they'll find the answers for you. They can do that? Sure. Thanks to BingePipe's customer vault, I can send them my medical history, credit card details, voting record, deepest fears, food allergies, romantic preferences, and lucky numbers, and they'll sort through it to find the data I need and keep the leftover details for themselves. Binge Pipe has a lot of hobbies besides presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, upgrade to premium to skip this slogan. I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you think this is all some kind of a game, congrats on picking up context clues. Oh, hey, Cookie's here. How hilarious. You know, you get to stop being Cookie after the game's over, pal. Me, I have to live like this. Okay, let's hit it. Time for question one. First, see, senor. You know how Aquaman's superpower is being able to talk to fish? Even Jason Momoa probably has a hard time making that seem cool. When would Aquaman not be able to be saved by sea creatures? While getting beat up in the Cosmonaut Sea? While getting beat up in the Sea of Hep... Okay, let's take a look. The Sea of Tranquility is on the moon, so there wouldn't be any fish or plankton or shrimp to help Aquaman out. Look, Aquaman probably wouldn't get picked on so much if he didn't go swimming in a shirt. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Here's one I like to call emoji dating. Admit it, you've been spending too much time on Tinder lately. While browsing your iPhone emojis, you are seriously turned off by the symbol category and swipe all the way left. What hopefully sexier emoji group will you be checking out now? Smileys, adorable animal faces, fruit, or flags. And how'd we do? Frowny face. Since the first appearance of emojis on iPhone, flags have lived at the far right side of the emoji universe, which you reach by swiping left. Flags, for when you truly have nothing left to say. Why don't we do it with three? Next, on solo lovemaking. And I can't resist the temptation. Let's do a dis or dat. I'm going to read seven titles, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's a book in the Star Wars franchise or a popular virginity book according to Goodreads. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Star Wars or Virgins. And you're both doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Before the Awakening. Lost Stars. Fallen too far. Sweet evil. Dark disciple. Losing it. Last shot. Hey, let's hear it for lucky guesses. Okay, let's move along. Don't need you anymore. 
Up next, bless you, got served. Which hip-hop move best demonstrates the proper hygienic way to sneeze in public as set out by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention? The Dougie, Popping and Locking, The Humpty Dance, or Dabbing? I love this part. If you don't have a tissue on hand, the CDC recommends you sneeze into your upper sleeve, which is what it looks like someone is doing when they're dabbing. It's so lame when adults try to look cool by not getting phlegm everywhere. It's time for... Violent Viral Videos. If the Queen of the Nile were also the Queen of Social Media, then the online buzz would say Cleopatra met her end when she failed... The Gold Makeup Challenge, the Snake Basket Challenge, the Fireproof Dress Challenge, or the Bad Date Challenge. Hope you like what you picked. This one's not your specialty. This would have worked. Cleopatra is believed to have killed herself by allowing a snake to bite her. YouTube is a lot like Shakespearean theater. The videos are comedies and the comments are tragedies. That's the end of round one. Where's that beautiful scoreboard? Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand, there's a soft spot on every apple. It's you. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for your opponent in a variety No, oh, someone's in a hurry. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. I feel good about this. Six trombones is not a parade. And now, see Spotify Run. It looks like they updated those old Dick and Jane children's books for the modern age. Might as well give it a read. Come, Dick. Come and see. See Spotify. See Spotify's global headquarters, Dick. See Spotify's global headquarters in... Bangkok, Dick. Dubai, Dick. Prague, Dick. Or Stockholm, Dick. Okay, who chose what? See Dick blow this. The streaming music company Spotify was founded and has its global headquarters in Stockholm, Sweden. Go and visit sometime. Just don't be a dick about it. Hey, Christopher! We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question about mom or a question about dad? Vote on your devices now. Your choices cancel each other out. Binge Pipe will select the slightly better option. Mon béret a rétréci. Set. Let's try a question about dad. What dad joke would follow the opening line of Moby Dick? Hi Ahab, I'm dad. Hi Ishmael, I'm dad. Hi Queequeg, I'm dad. Or hi Starbuck, I'm dad. Let's see how that shook out. Should have picked this. The first line of Moby Dick is, call me Ishmael. And you can call me a guy who didn't get past page one. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Coming up next, why couldn't it have been Scrappy-Doo? Say Scooby-Doo mysteriously vanishes while solving a mystery. All the gang finds is the tag of his collar floating in a pool of blood. How do they know it's his? It's shaped like a paw print, it's shaped like a Scooby snack, it's shaped like his head, or it has his in- Let's see who got it. Scooby-Doo's collar tag is emblazoned with his big gold initials, S.D. <laughs> Introducing Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein. 
It's Monster. Produced through galvanism. Octopus, coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein. So what'd you pick? Galvanism is the process of creating electricity through chemical reactions, which is what gave the monster life. This one's called My Gal Pal Gal. So I watched Wonder Woman again the other day, and it got me thinking. If waiting for Gal Gadot had the same conclusion as waiting for Gadot, what would happen? She'd show up and kill me, she'd show up in a different body, she'd show up a decade late, or she'd stand me up. Who picked what? Gal Gano. This answer feels lonely. In Samuel Beckett's play Waiting for Godot, the two main characters, Vladimir and Estragon, spend the entire duration waiting for the eponymous character, but he never shows up. <laughs> Samuel Beckett used to drive child Andre the Giant to school. Yeah, there's, there's no joke there. I just can't imagine a weirder scenario. Welcome to the attack. Oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. It's a numbers game. I hope you know your number titles. Good luck. Two takes it! Excellent job, Player Two. Look who's on top now. Enjoy the view from up there, cause tomorrow you'll probably realize... 